Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to SnowRunner. It's been a while since the last episode but I have been playing a lot offline and during the streams as you might have seen as well in the channel. Anyway, we are still in our International Fleet Star. But if you look below, huge upgrade, we now have chain tires. Yeah, perfect for the snow. This truck fits right in in Alaska. And we are now level 12. That's when the snow tires, the chain tires unlocked for me. And it's perfect because I've been doing a lot of missions offline in Michigan. And uh, when I hit level 12, I checked out which upgrades were available. And uh, this popped up and I decided, hey, it's time to get back to Alaska and get back to doing missions with the guys. So here we are. If you guys remember from the previous episode, we discovered a new area so let me go back to the map a bit so we discovered White Valley so the initial area is North Port then Mountain River then White Valley is the place that we were in that's where we're going right now I'm hauling a uh, what, are, what am I hauling anyway I'm hauling small pipes on my back together with a fuel trailer just a that I just found lying on the ground so we could refuel because the White Valley area is a bit uncharted at the moment if I show you yeah it's pretty undiscovered right now I'm not sure where the fuel stations are and I decided it would be nice to have a mobile fuel station in the form of that fuel tanker so we are going to do this block tunnel mission for the sake of uh, ease so we can link easily to the north port the starting map and that's why i'm carrying over small pipes through here that's going to be one part of the equation and then the next one i guess is we'll have to go to the factory here to get some concrete blocks bring it back there right but yeah one step at a time first and foremost let's try and make it through now this area shouldn't be that hard mountain river is a very uh how do you say civilized area lots of paved roads and I've been doing a bit of exploring as well offline in this map and I was actually able to discover the last so there are four uh, regions in this area in this Alaska map and I was able to unlock the fourth one as well apparently it's just to the north sorry I'm going to go to the map again it's just here to Pedro Bay and that is unlocked already so for sure we'll be doing a lot of missions there as well but for now let's focus on what's in front of us <clears throat> I found that in White Valley there's also an airport and I think we'll have to deliver there sometime so really looking forward to that and how it looks let's do it White Valley Alaska USA 15.5 million active trucks Right now, I'm also trying something different. I'm actually playing with a controller, no longer using the wheel. Because as immersive as the wheel is, it's still a bit finicky with the controls. It's not as smooth, not as uh, um, well designed as how they did it for the controller. Clearly, all these uh, decisions, all these design decisions they had was meant for the controller either it's an xbox 360 xbox one or ps4 controller one of those oh yikes i think the only remaining upgrade that i need for this truck would be for the transmission if you look on the lower right i still don't have the low low minus and low plus i found that the low plus is a really great transmission to be in all around whether you're in muddy snowy or highways everything just uh, it's the right speed and the right balance and you can enable diff lock with it and it's not finicky with the gears like in automatic transmission all right so here we go and deliver the small pipes and voila that's one part of the problem done the next one is going to Ooh, what is that? Do I have a mission with it? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's the other mission that we could do, right? But that's a completely different thing. Anyway, uh... 
Maybe this is part of a mission, this thing I'm carrying with me. But we'll just leave it here somewhere. So we'll try and make our way south here to the factory. But we'll have to do it bit by bit. Maybe just try and explore at the same time. I am pretty confident now. I'm feeling pretty confident with the my newfound uh, chain tires. From the very few journeys I've taken in this map with these tires. I found that it's very easy now to traverse through the snow, through the mud, through the ice. It's not slippery at all. So I think I am pretty confident with exploring with this uh, guy right here. So we'll just maneuver through. Perfect. And maybe let's get the refuel. There you go. Awesome. Let's do it. <clears throat> this is such an amazing game, my goodness. We've been having a lot of fun in Timir during the streams. And you might have seen some of those streams in the playlist. Playlist link is in the video description if you missed some of them. Three hours of uh, insanity. <laughs> Calamities with a gang. Snowrunner with friends. Multiplayer action. So with the multiplayer, we are spending a lot of our time in Timir. And then offline when I'm playing, I'm playing mostly in Michigan. And then uh, for the this series in particular, this YouTube series, I am going to be doing most of the stuff in Alaska. Oh, that's when Diflock is going to be working its magic. Like so. So you have all your tires spinning at the same rate. There we go. I don't even have to use all-wheel drive so much anymore. And Diflock, I don't think, is a such a huge um, contributor to fuel consumption. So I think it's uh, safe to enable from time to time when you get stuck. The yeah, all-wheel drive is really the fuel hog most of the time, so I try to stay away from it. I try to avoid it. Ooh, what is this? Pluck the stuck truck. Ooh, what truck is that? Uh, do we try and save it, guys? Do we get derailed with our mission and try to save it? Maybe we can. That looks exciting. Seems like our airfield crew managed to get our tow truck stuck in the creek nearby. Dairy Longhorn 3194. I've never heard of that before. Wow, that, that just rhymed. Uh, let's start tracking it. Deliver to the parking. The parking is all the way... Where the heck? Wow, okay. It's a bit far. Might not be to the best of our... Uh, might not be for our... Hmm. Might not be the best approach, but I do want to try and save it at the very least. So maybe we can pull it out and then we can try and deliver it next time. Oh my goodness, I might regret this. Okay. Oh, stop. Stop. Oh crap. I'm just slipping through now. <laughs> Even with handbrake. <laughs> All right, congratulations, you just got stuck together with this truck you're trying to save. Very common story. <laughs> In my case. All right, so let's see if we can work with this. All you drive, uh, not that one. No, 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 not that one. Restore that. What we need is all wheel drive and diff lock. And we'll try and reverse our way through here. We'll see if that works. Doesn't, that doesn't look good, guys. Maybe it's better if we save it to the, from the other side, huh? Because even with chain tires, I'm slipping like crazy here. I think this is just too thick mud and snow combined together. Well, what have I gotten myself into now? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but this is, this is the fun part in this game. You get to discover all these uh, special missions and uh, get interested in them and then you start. Let's just nudge this guy along. 
start exploring, start fumbling about. That's where the fun is. Having unplanned excursions. Let's try and save this guy from the other side, maybe. Maybe that helps. Where does this lead, though? Well, we can probably just go through the snow like that, make it back to the road. Or, we could go straight. Oh, there's a pipeline there. I don't think we can cross over. Yeah, let's let's try and see if we can take this guy with us. Is anyone familiar with this truck? Looks like a pretty stable one. Let's take you with us. Are you even working? Looks like it. Right. Now I must remember I don't have my fuel tanker with me anymore. This might be a bit challenging to get through. I have to conserve my fuel here. I have to be very wary possible tipping zones maybe it's best if I just faced the other way went back the other way huh <laughs> yeah now I'm doubting myself because in front looks snows snow for days so maybe it's best if I just make, make our way through here um, ah, yes, yes, yes. That can be something we do. So we just make a U-turn here. Face the other way. Maybe if we... Drive... In front. Get, get us better traction, get us better torque than if we're driving in reverse. If we manage to make it out of this river at least. My goodness, the graphics still blows me away, even if I've been playing this for hours already. Such an amazing game. Not without its faults and, uh, and uh, quirks, but all in all, my goodness, beautiful game. Now, where do we connect it to? Maybe there is okay. Cool. Cool. And now I'm stuck. Might not be the best place to winch it. Maybe we have to get better traction first, get on the ground here, get out of the river, and then hope that we're within the same range as this guy. That looks to work. Let's try to... Oh, that guy is stuck. There we go. Got him free from the rocks. So now we should be able to pull him across. If I can make it through here, that is. This guy is heavy though, huh? My goodness. No, but we're, we're moving bit by bit. It's a good thing. We don't get much traction, but I think... Let me try and hitch to a different area that way, maybe. I think that's better for the angle. There we go. Get you across. My goodness. Spending hours in this game teaches you a lot of patience. And, uh... Yeah, now I don't rage quit as much anymore. <laughs> Although I still do have my moments. But now it's not as bad. And I can kind of ignore it at times. Just laugh through the the accidents and laugh through the unfortunate events. Just let you along here. Maybe I just leave this guy in the middle of the river worse off than where he started. <laughs> Yikes. You know what's perfect for this job? I actually have a truck. You find it in the mountain river. Mount th that previous map we were on. That was the best place for it. 
you unlock it there it's the cat uh, super heavy haul truck can't do much but it's the perfect emergency vehicle for towing like this because it has two mongoose tires very low center of gravity so no chance of tipping over well very little chance of tipping over and uh, best for saving trucks like this so i think we'll leave this guy there for now i can i think i can hardly make it through here on my own let alone hauling some other guy through let's just leave him in the river <laughs> might not be the best approach maybe i should have just left him alone huh sometimes exploration can get you in trouble well that's uh you could say it's a bit of wasted time but I'd like to charge these things to experience, you know, you learn these things by playing this game. Patience. Not every idea works out. But then again, that just adds to the fun for all. <clears throat> you learn something new every single time. Alright. Let's go ahead and check where the factory is. Uh, we'll do a Need to do a bit of tracking here again. Um, let me see. The block tunnel is what we wanted to track. We wanted to get concrete blocks, and concrete blocks are actually right on here. Perfect. Awesome, right? This is the one. Okay, good. So let's do something easier. We need a win. Maybe bridge discovered. New mission again. Is there a broken? Oh, there's a broken bridge there. We'll need to fix that eventually because there are some missions that go here. Okay, cool. But first things first, let's focus. Get some concrete blocks in. These won't be too large. Up to now, guys, I'm still not familiar what is the advantage of using a crane for carrying the goods instead of automatically loading them. I think I remember from the concrete blocks, is it that one? Yes, just one. I think I remember from the tutorial, they said there's like bonus XP if you do manual loading. But I've never seen any evidence of that, so I can't confirm it. If anyone knows, can you comment below? very helpful like I see the XP but I don't see any indication that it I got a bonus or something extra for doing this manual loading I mean it's not the most painful thing to do it's quite interesting quite exciting actually like a mini game but I mean it's much faster of course just doing the automatic loading every time right there you go that looks good all right pack it up it and we are good to go easy peasy <clears throat> I also noticed a new feature maybe I'll try it with you guys maybe you'll understand it better there's a legacy camera feature now I think this is fairly new but this makes the camera more in, in line with the old mud runner and snow uh, spin tires uh, series the prequels so I like the camera angle because it focuses on the tires and still but still you can see in front of you although it can be a bit finicky at times so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it at the moment not sure I like it but yeah you can see very different angle here so you can focus on the tires and how it's spinning how it's getting stuck or how how much uh, trouble you're having but still you can see everything that's in front of you perfectly so you guys let me know what you prefer but yeah I think I'd be staying in third person as much as possible just for the additional visual uh, benefits of it there's something to be said some, I know some of you guys commented about it as well third person is amazing because you can see your tires perfectly and how it struggles through the mud through the snow and it's quite interesting as to like first person which is more immersive yes but you lose all um, 
visuals of that and because there's no track IR it's not really easy to just like, look back there and see what's happening and then go back it's a bit not the best uh, controls so we'll be sticking with third person for now but you let me know if you prefer this legacy camera or the default one okay this is like more dramatic uh, camera angle I would say more like GTA or like a Hollywood movie um, so I think we turn right here yeah that's the bridge okay good and then that's where we're delivering to perfect I actually starting to like this bridge shot I'll take a screenshot here later <laughs> this is the perfect thumbnail if you guys have been with the channel for quite some time, you will know that I am into trucking games, specifically ETS2 and ETS, and uh, I'm known to pause the game, take a lot of screenshots whenever we pass through bridges like that. Those are pretty scenic. Yeah. In general, the camera is nice, but yeah, it can be a bit finicky, like when you're trying to go through narrow areas like this. It's hard to see. Alright, let's fix this tunnel. There we go. Awesome. How close are we to leveling up? Uh, around 600 plus. No, 570 points away. A couple of missions should get us to level 13. I'm actually excited for level 13. Because that will actually unlock most of the tires' uh, mud. Uh, the, most of the trucks mud tires option so let me bring it back to the old to the default uh, camera for now I think I, that's more stable for me there we go all right so now it should be easy and now we can go and do some more missions because I found you know, I think I should be focusing on these, um, these like main missions, right? The, the one with the world icon. So this one is delivering metal beams to Pedro Bay. Yeah, but I think most of the missions are actually intending to deliver there for now. So we might not be able to explore this map yet, but the next missions do go here. So I think it's good that we were able to connect to north port here let's, let's try it let's try it out you know what? first let me refuel we'll leave the tanker here just nudge it along a bit awesome please don't fall off the ledge good luck there you go it stopped <laughs> all right tunnel is fixed congrats guys uh, yeah and we are back where we started exactly all right so let's wait, let's see um if we look at the pipeline repair so the other ones the other missions with the world icon are still locked it says we need to complete the drilling equipment ah yeah that's something we can do the drilling equipment is that one so we take drilling equipment to the White Valley. Oh, that's something we can do, right? I'm just not sure if the drilling equipment is... Um, hmm. Is it large? Do we need to be... To have like a semi-trailer for that? I think so. Yeah, that might be something that we need to do. Because the, the pipeline repair is good. But I think it stops there. The rest of the missions, these guys, they are... The prerequisite is the drilling equipment mission. So that's something we could go and track. I wish, I wish it says the cargo, the size of the cargo. Because it says drilling equipment times one. But you have no idea what how large that is. We can try and see if our trailer would be enough, but I have my doubts. 
because I think I did a similar mission in I think I did a similar mission in uh, Michigan and I believe it required a semi-trailer four slots the one we have right now this trailer is only two slots so yeah not the best actually you know what I can cheat a bit I can just recover we'll jump straight into get the garage here oh and we have the bugs still you can see none of the options work I have to return to main menu and uh, that should let me go in again and from here then the options should work it's not that bad in single player but in multiplayer it's a bit of a hassle really I hope they fix that so that's the upgrade that we got tires previously I had off-road tires which are very good for mud but for ice look at this yes excellent can have an option of either all chains or just the rear ones and actually not sure which one is uh, better but I mean if you're going with chains then go all chains that's what I think right in terms of winch you also have a high power now but it's not extended so less range so I like the the bigger range more and I think everything else is good there so what we need to do now is I guess um, convert it to saddle low yes like that and then make sure that we have a, a trailer a semi a fuel carrier semi trailer no no I don't think we have anything here we'll have to buy one okay it's fine let's take one with us so we can buy here at the trailer store a good practice I understood is you can actually sideward semi trailer that's the one. Oh, that's expensive you can actually buy and sell trailers at no depreciation so if you find a trailer in the world you can take it to the trailer store and sell it off if you don't need it it's a good way of earning money because <laughs> for me I just oftentimes just leave it I just leave the I just leave the the, the trailer lying wherever and it's not a very good practice you go first person here I think it's better this way easier visuals first person does have a lot of benefits especially in highways like this helps you estimate better especially if you have a trailer <clears throat> I'm still waiting for the day that they implement track IR and the proper wheel support force feedback and all that stuff and especially manual transmission when that happens we'll go back to the wheel but for now I think the controller does a good enough job not as immersive but definitely more convenient because all the buttons are well designed all the functions are within reach minimap scrolling moving the camera everything just works oh you guys remember this spot this is where we tipped over the humongous trailer in episode 2 <laughs> brings back nightmares actually <laughs> those were the days we're a bit far away from that now I hope that doesn't happen to us anymore and if it does I hope I will not um, rage quit as hard but yeah uh, I think I have evolved a bit from that point and now I'm just taking it easy and uh, yeah I really like this game you know, it's it's not about speed at all it's really about fitness and luck <laughs> sometimes <laughs> hoping to make more episodes of this and looking forward to the updates because there are a lot of updates planned for this game they already shared the roadmap that they have a new region in Taimir is going to be unlocked together with some updates I haven't really studied them but right now the main thing I'm looking forward to is the steering wheel support and force feedback 
To be honest though, I don't think they have that as a priority. I think they're happy enough that this works with a controller. And passively, sometimes with a steering wheel. Okay. Let's see if this works. It's not look good. Using my ETS2 skills here. Or lack thereof. Using my mirror, making it more immersive. Get the back there, can't really see anything. Okay, I think we're gonna do that. Perfect. Uh, not quite, but that will do. Right, let's see. Uh, manual loading for drilling equipment. Indeed, it is a humongous guy. Okay, needs four slots. Thankfully, we took a semi trailer with us. Okay, good. So that's what we need. It's a different one from what I was expecting in Michigan. It was a different thing. Let's see if we can carry this guy. Humongous container. Might need to go closer here, actually. Carry it. It's a bit heavy. Okay, lower it. Oh, oh my goodness. That looks pretty scary. How the heck do you load this manually? Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it out as we go. Still a bit low, isn't it? <laughs> we'll have to raise it somehow. Okay, let's fix it on this side. Raise it up like so. Okay, that looks good. And then we move it to the right here. Hmm. Does that work? It's hitting the crane though. Not the most professional. <laughs> I hope the cargo inside is still working. So good. How can we nudge this thing along? Okay, let's see. Alright, so we have it with us. We're stable at least. That's saying something. But in order to make this work, I think we have to lengthen this. Like so. And raise it. Uh. Okay. I think we have to rotate it maybe. Something like that, so we can move it to the trailer. Alright. This should give me points, this is so much extra work. Okay, and uh, we can rotate it back now, supposedly. My trailer actually has five slots in there. Well, that's a good camera angle. Lower it, lower it. Lengthen the crane. Um, a bit of a bind here. I'm sure there's a more professional way of doing this, but that can work. We'll make it work somehow. Extend it more. There we go. We're doing this. Come on. So close. Go farther. Still hitting the edge of my crane. I think I have to raise it and lengthen it. There you go, that's the way. That gives me all the space I need. That looks perfect. Um, move it to the right, maybe. Thank you. 
Make it a bit shorter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Me and cranes don't really mix that well, huh? There we go. Alright. Sorry for that, guys. I know it was painful to watch, but there we go. We got it settled in. Alright. So let's pack that in. Restore. Good to go. Alright. Uh huh. And now we deliver this to White Valley. So we go back the same way, all the way to the tunnel. And then we see where it needs us to go to. But actually, I think we are out of time. Goodness, so we'll leave this as a cliffhanger. You did mention you like 30 to 40 minute episodes. So let's leave this as a cliffhanger. I'll record one more after this. Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh, <clears throat> the extra stuff. But yeah, I think it's, it's the entire journey is uh, worth watching. So hope you enjoyed that one. Catch in the next episode. Clumsy off-road trucking. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.